You know, one of the things that you must understand with human beings or the people we live with, especially if you indeed have a good heart, is that people, whether we like it or not, not majority, they will use you when they want something from you. And the moment they don't want anything, they will can just leave you like that, as if you are nothing. Hallelujah. And by the way, you're watching me for the first time. My name is Ishmael N. And welcome to today's video in which I want to speak a message that I've been given, okay? Because you're going to receive a deceptive text. Hallelujah. Deceptive text that if you obey, someone will just play with your mind. Play like, you know what? Once you are depressed, you are not happy. Someone is hurting you over and over, you know? And some for that matter, find that is someone who even goes to church. But people, when it comes to hurting others, being selfish, heartless, oh, you don't know. We don't understand what's going on in their minds. Praise the Lord. May we, may he help us in Jesus' mighty name. So listen, there is a text that you're going to come. Please don't fall for this, okay? Don't fall for this, whether it will be exactly a text or a call, but most probably a text. This is a text so that you differentiate because you know why it's going to be hard. You should, normally, the Bible speaks of Jesus who went to the wilderness and was tempted by the devil. The devil tempted him just because he knew that Jesus, while he was on earth, he was a human being as well. He could go hungry. And at that time, he was fasting and he was hungry. Listen, the enemy tempts you with something he knows you desires. The enemy will bring someone whom you know he knows that you have a weakness towards. And also that person, when they notice that you kind of like them, you, are, you have a soft spot for them. That's the perfect way they're going to take more advantage. When things are hard, they come back to you. When things are good, they leave you as if you are nothing. So once this text comes, I want you to differentiate because at times I know you get caught up, get lost, and you feel like, this is what I prayed for. I wanted the reconciliation. I wanted this person back into my life. I wanted to make peace with this person. I don't like how things ended the last time. I just wanted to keep peace because I have a good heart and all those things, but deep down... You are kind of deceiving yourself. You just want to make yourself feel good about it. So normally, to know people who are coming, let me just simply now put this message like this. You will get to know someone who comes back with a genuine intentions. From You'll be able to know who's coming back with genuine intentions and from someone who's coming with bad intentions. Good intentions from bad intentions. Hallelujah. So listen, when a person comes back, someone whom like when they come back and they were gone, if they are to text you out of the blue, they were not checking up on you. They were not there. You haven't been talking at all. And the first thing that they say, or one of the first things that they say, or before you can talk for so long, now they start to ask for favors, demand something. And they've been, been, it's like, you can tell that at this time they're ignoring you. They didn't care. Just know that person is not there back for you, but they just come back to try their luck and use you all over again. Because where they're at, they realize the green, that the grass is not greener. So once a person comes back and you feel like maybe they, they want to make peace, maybe they want to create something friendly, but before the end of so long, now they're asking favors. Actually, that is the real reason they are back. And after they get that, they're going to run again. So from there, do not be deceived from such a person. Do not fall for it. It won't make you rude. It won't, you wouldn't have sinned to ignore them. Hallelujah. You're just using wisdom. Praise the Lord. Don't be deceived. Ignore such a person. Hallelujah. And another thing that you should look for. If that person comes back, and now the first thing that they want from you, let's just take maybe it's a woman. But I think it's similar to what I've just said, right? To, put, to be more specific, more clear, you find that a man is with a woman, maybe they're in a relationship or in a relationship. And she, all she wanted was money. When she comes back, one of the first things she will ask for is money. If a man was after a woman for like sex, for example, the first thing that he does I miss you. Yeah, we should meet up. I will book a place, blah, 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 blah. That man only wanted that from you. And after, he's going to do you that once again. Hallelujah. 
Now let's go to something very different a little bit. One of the things is like, let's just take you out, you separated and all those things. One of the things that people, they do is when they notice they want to win you over. Remember, now they notice that they messed up. They have to win back your favor. They have to convince you. They sat down and really looked at things which you were always asking them to do and they're not doing. And they know that if I can do these things, like they sit down. Um, what is this? It's like, but they properly think about it properly and plan and then they below okay this person always asked me to do this co go with her to church let me tell her that now i will go with her to church i will always do this i won't once a person comes back and instantly now they say and i'm going i have decided to start going to church i've started to stop doing drugs or drinking or whatsoever was annoying you about them listen nobody changed for anybody it's either they've changed for their own personal reasons rather than to impress somebody. Once somebody can change in order to impress you, that change is not genuine. That change won't stand the test of time. That change, it means the moment they get fed up with you, they get tired with you. And eventually, people, even in marriages, they say marriages are like this. One moment you are so in love with your partner, one moment you feel like, you know, okay, one moment you feel like you're so in love with your partner, one moment you feel like you're no longer that in love or you no longer love them. Before you know it, that love is being revived. So there will come a time when they're like this. And if they stop drinking just because of you, when they feel like they don't have a need to impress you, they're going to go back and drink. So when someone comes back with those things, those thoughts, just know those are the things to come and weaken you. So that you can say, oh, okay, if you are like this, uh, then we'll get along. Yes, then I can give you a chance. Remember, you found out you're separated because you told them, I don't like the way you live your life. I don't like the way you do this. And with this, I can't boost someone who behaves like this. And they'll be like, yeah, you can go. But just because now they want to win you over again, they'll be like, if I can, the only thing that made it to push me away or made him to push me away is this thing. Do not be deceived. Nobody changes for anybody. Unless if somebody has changed on their own and originally, that's how they, 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 they're, they're like. Hallelujah. And listen, do not fall for it when somebody comes and wants to change around you. Especially someone who's not married to you. That is a deception. Let someone sort their life alone while you're not there and then you find them already packed in good state, don't try to rescue somebody. Don't let somebody manipulate you and say, I want you to help me. I want you to pick me. You used to go with me to church and all. If that's the case, listen, do those things while they are not benefiting anything that they used to benefit from you. That thing that you used to make them stay longer with you, if he's sleeping with you, let them no longer be sleeping with you. If it's money from you, let them no longer be parasiting you. If it's a matter of them changing, going to church, let them pass the test and be going with you to church. Tell them, okay, so long as it's not that anything to do with you, using my body, my money, and all those things. And indeed, you find out that person is, they don't care anymore about your things that they used to gain or from you, then most probably that person wants to change. And listen, there are so many other examples. As long as that person is not coming back to suck you much or suck you even uh, worse than before. Look at the things they used to want from you only. And the moment they get those things, they will disappear. Get off their radar. Check those things. Hallelujah. And then don't give it to them. If they are coming to change, let them focus on changing. Remove yourself and you will see the real, the true colors of somebody. Hallelujah. And allow me to wrap this video here. Hallelujah. And if you watch this video to the very end, just comment with, just simply say, let them prove. Let them prove. Okay. And uh, for prayer requests and spiritual advices, DM me on my Instagram or email me the details on the description of the video below. And as for me, Ishmael and your priest, I will see you in the next video upload. Take care and stay blessed.